Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War The English Campaign. As we left off last time, a lot of things happened. It's getting to the stage where I can't keep updating like this all the time. It's too many things going on. But anyway, as far as I'm concerned, we have uh, the Danish blockading the Inverness, which is not good. So we have Edinburgh recruiting some hulks to assist. He's trying to kill this Lufrancus Pistorinius. Uh, Eilfgar has finally managed to set sail to Oslo. He's got his massive fleet. He's not worried about any Danish ships now. His fleet is the mightiest in these waters, he's sure. He has a spy and an assassin to help him on his way as well for a bit of subterfusion. I forgot to give him a diplomat, but forget it. Diplomacy is null and void right now. And he's got his army of troops, his Sherwood archers, or Sherwood archers rather. His retinues, his armoured swords, he's, he's got an elite troop force. So he's good to go and start the campaign of the northern Denmark. Uh, what else have we got going on? Uh, so that's that. Down here we have uh, Mitchell's army is close to completion. One more turn and he gets his last few troops and he can start marching down towards the Milanese. Simon Maitland has almost got his uh, troops to reinforce Antwerp. And then he can just sit in Antwerp as his governor, waiting patiently, keeping an eye until Eilfgar's finished. He can then have his full stack army with the remnants of that to start his campaign against the southern Danish lands. And down south here we have Bordeaux and Toulouse just patiently recruiting, retraining, expanding waiting for the opportunity to strike out um, down here. So, um, I think now is the time we can probably start getting that prepared. We still have some Spanish people in our lands. They don't seem to be walking anywhere. All our settlements are heavily garrisoned to a decent degree, so I'm not worried about them uh, taking any of my settlements. So they can do what they damn please, because uh, they're going the right way about a hiding, my friends. But meanwhile, in Saragossa we have the spy hopefully causing a bit of unrest, public orders down to 75%, a bit of unrest is being caused, and now is part two of the manoeuvre, the sabotaging of their settle of their of their things. So anything that gives them a public order bonus, we are going to destroy it. A city watch is not a bad thing to destroy, but how about the city hall? Public health bonus public order bonus due to law. This is going to really upset the populace if we sabotage the city hall. So crack on! Let's get them going. Years to build, minutes to destroy. Oh yes, minutes to destroy. Explosives, oh yeah, Guy Fawkes all over again. And there goes public order down to 40%. We destroy one building and public order suffers big time. Right, sir. Barnaby Barnard is going to try and smash up up their church next, I think. So yeah, we're just going to bit of a splinter cell type operation, cause unrest amongst our enemies, give them something to keep them occupied and out of my lands. I'm liking it. Advice given as per my advisors, and it's working a royal treat here. So, I think I, once again, I think that's all. Oh yeah, we're going to do this. Uh, army. So we need an army uh, to be commanded by either Josias or Ralph and at this moment in time I'm going to give Josias a touch of action um, to blockade a, a fort down here and just watch and wait patiently. So we'll see what we can spare. We can... Well first of all archers is uh, something... He, oh, what's happened to the archery range? Oh I'm still building it. Okay. Archery range not possible there. Uh, one yeoman archer there. Where can they meet? They can meet on this bridge here. So give them one of them. And, uh, uh, a couple of them. So there's the archeries. Where's the horse? Get any horses? I can recruit two horses. That's fine. And then. Uh, how about some catapults? Three catapults and Toulouse could recruit my me the, the... Oh god, we don't have many foot soldiers to recruit. 
to be two of them. You in exchange for two of them. Sire. Yes, sire. Joining forces, my lord. Uh, how about one, two, one, two? There we go. Okay, so we'll keep them coming now for now. So uh, this is going to be the force that blockades the Pyrenees Mountains and keeps an overwatch on just what the hell the Portuguese are doing. Who do you want dead? And that's that taken care of. So oh yes, it's all coming together rather nicely. And this is actually the one. Still, <laughs> they are scared to attack Rome. What the hell is wrong with them? My lord, we will listen, but. I cannot say we will agree. No, they're not going to have anything, are they? This concludes our meeting, yes? They're not interested in ceasefires, these people. They will not listen to reason. So I shall have to make them listen to reason. I'm not called King Ambrose a tyrant for nothing, you know. Oh, no three. Right, are you walking? Your Majesty. That sounded too. Ah! Oops, the that sounded bad. Somebody bit the dust again! Mm. Ah! Whoa! The first huge cathedral is built! And where is it, please? Look at this. If there were any lingering doubts as to the power of the church, they were dispelled once the people gazed upon God's greatest house on earth. Its towering presence here shall ensure Christian dominance throughout the land. Yes. So in your face, Popey! In your bloody face. What a disgrace that the one country you've got excommunicated was the first to build a huge cathedral. Well, you should be disgusted with yourself. And he's dead! Here we go! Here we go! Action stations! Here we go! English Pope! We have a chance for an English Pope! Oh, damn! Denmark got a bloody cardinal in the college in the preferati, which means they've got a chance. We need to... There's two votes undecided. Basically, this is how it goes. If Poland vote for Denmark, we have another Danish Pope and we are screwed for, <laughs> for another God knows how many years. If they vote for the Holy Romans, Denmark have the Pope, we're screwed for another however many years. The only way we can have an English Pope is if they vote for England. Diplomacy. I can do for you? Demand cardinal votes. We make a payment of 2,500. This is worth a lot of money to me because if we can get unexcommunicated, if that makes sense, we can put all the tax rates back up again because we're getting a massive decrease in public order due to being excommunicated this could be a pivotal step please very demanding oh what else can we do trade rights alliance <laughs> come on do something map information change this payment change it to five thousand we'll do anything Five thousand. Take out the alliance part. Oh my god. How much do you have to pay? You're bankrupt. You should be bloody welcoming. How about regular tribute as well? A regular tribute of five hundred florins. For five more turns. Oh, come on, people. Have you seen this? I'm giving them everything here. I'm giving them 5,000 florins. 500 florins for five turns. Map information. Trade rights. What about if I give them a region as well? And you can have some crappy region. <laughs> I don't think so. That's just, I'm just going to experiment to see. If, so what if I was to give them, say, and you can have York. Metz. And you could have the castle of Metz balanced. <laughs> so they want, a, they want a region. They want a region. That is what they want. Well, I'm sorry, but you're not getting a region. You can have trade rights, this, this and this. Never. Your proposal implies we are fools. Oh, what? 15,000 florins for three turns! For a grand total of 45,000 florins. Oh, you are having a laugh. It is no matter. 
Let's continue. You are having the biggest laugh in the... <laughs> Okay guys, it's going to be touch and go. It's going to be down to uh, whether they like us more or less than the Danes. And considering they're enemies with the Danes, I can't see them voting for them. So please, Pope Petrus. That doesn't sound like an English Pope to me. Pope Petrus. That sounds rather Denmark, uh, Danish to me. I'm telling you, if this is a Danish Pope, I am sending a, a flaming assassin down on it. You won't be fucking smiling then, pal. Sorry for my language, I just... Uh, oh, His Holiness has found your faith waning, or wanting. So we basically it's a Danish Pope. Oh, we've been reconciled! It is a Danish Pope. They voted for the damn Holy Romans, but this Pope has decided... What? What's happened here? How has this happened? Pope Petrus of the Holy Roman Empire, why have they got... Why have they got a Pope? Oh, he had the most votes. I'm confused. Somebody want to explain this to me, uh, I'll be more than welcome to listen. So, the Holy Romans have got... The Popey. They, they've got the Pope. Pope Petrus of the Holy Romans. Oh well! What am I mourning for? We're, 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 we're reconciled! Oh, this is such a glorious time! Let's have a look at our stats. Oh, damn. <laughs> we need to do some sucking up now. He's 59! He's gonna die anyway! In like four turns. What's the point? <laughs> okay. Well, for now we can start doctoring our tax rates again because... Uh, we're no longer excommunicated. Oh, we're reconciled. Oh, yes. So we can now maybe make... Well, there's no point of changing my plans too much at the moment because, uh, he, as I said, he's going to die very shortly. Twelve years old, Anthony Stewart. Eight years old, Jacob Maitland. And we have young John Watkins now as well. Uh, happy days. Okay. Agent detected, where? I knew there was one in Antwerp, I just knew it. Orders. By your command. In Metz? Right. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll do the tax rates. Marvellous, we can now tax the hell out of my people again. There we go, look at that. I can put it up to normal there. That's fine. Fleet ready, sire. Get a few more boats first before we attack this uh, Danish person up here. Need someone removed. Sir. Oh, at last he's killed him. Flaming Nora. Thank the Lord, Hallelujah. Ships ready. Keep going, son. There we go. Yes, sir. Full sail. Thank you. Very high tax rate already there. Who do you want? Dead, as you will. Dublin, put the tax rate up. Dublin, ninety-five, high, very high there, very high already there. We'll start messing about with the building work afterwards. Mitchell is ready to take his I'm units there. So combining forces. Combining forces. Uh, what do we need here? We need to put the tax rate up. <laughs> And we can get a coaching house. That's fine. And Antwerp, the we can put the tax rate up there as well. To very high, and he's already building. Bruges, Reims, Metz, Dijon, put the tax rate up. Nope, keep it as it is. And burn and things as well. Right, okay. Excellent. Right, join me in the next part when we shall continue this housekeeping and I will give you an update as to what we're gonna do next. See you soon. Oops, a daisy. I forgot to press the end record button.